already God. Yeah. But there's going to come something, a further glorification for this hour. Mm. Mm -hmm. Glorify thy son, that thy son may glorify thee. Now, here's what I see about the church. He said it's the year. Yeah. We are going to expect a further glorification. Yes. Reveal this glory. Lord, let me Shalom, I'm Billy Brim, and we're coming to you today from Collinsville, Oklahoma, in a glorious church fellowship. Where it all started. Where it all started. Your and, ministry, and, I mean. Uh, yes, and with me, I have the oldest, Shelly Brim. Yes. <laughs> How about the wisest? Well, uh, that oldest is really I have sounding the old baby. <laughs> yes. Chip Brim, Pastor Chip Brim, and uh, Pastor Candace Brim of a glorious church fellowship. Now, uh, we have already talked about how I've had the revelation of the glory, how mm -hmm. this church started 50 years ago. Yes. This church is named a glorious church fellowship. Why? Every one of those words was chosen. Mm -hmm. We have already talked about how it says in Ephesians that Christ is coming for a glorious church. So the body of Christ, the church, is going to be glorious when he comes. That's mm -hmm. the glorious church in all the world. What's that mean? No spot or wrinkle. Not a spot or wrinkle. And the glory of God. The presence of God. Manifesting the glory is really what it means. And then glorious. We're going to be glorious. We're going to be manifesting the glory. And the church, mm -hmm. fellowship. Now, the fellowship part comes from 1 John 4. There we are given, uh, it says, we have declared to you, Paul, I mean, excuse me, John said, we saw him, we touched him, mm. and we learned from him, and we're going to declare something unto you that we've heard from him. And that, that which we have seen, verse 3, and heard, declare we unto you that you also may have fellowship, fellowship with, with us. us. Mm. And truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with his son, Jesus Christ. Is that the same word for partnership, too? It is, son. Yeah. And that's, I have it down here, the Amplified translates it that way. Mm -hmm. So that you may realize and enjoy fellowship as partners and partakers. Yes. You're in the, you're partners with God. And so we chose that word for its meaning. Yeah. We want to work with God. Yes. We're yes. working with God in That's the last days. That's one of those days. you need to meditate or chew on a little bit That's because exactly. uh, fellowship, partnership, but partnership with, alongside of, yes. in business with. In business with is a better way to say it. Wow. It's a mar marvelous yeah. way. So what greater business partner would you want than God? That's not a, that's a no-brainer. Right. Yes, and thinking about the business aspect of it, the translation in the Amplified is partners and partakers. partakers. Mm. Mm. So you're, partake you're a business. partner, oh, but you good. partake okay. of the profit. Mm. Yes. Ooh. Yes. That's a good yeah. That's right. So that's yeah, why that's we a are deal. a, a not deal. the only, but a glorious, filled with the glory of God, uh -huh. church or assembly body, mm working with God in fellowship and profiting from that. So that's the name, oh, A God. Glorious Church Fellowship in Collinsville, Oklahoma, where you are the pastor. And every Sunday morning you're on at 10 o'clock, Wednesdays yes. you're on, and they can watch you online or come here. It's a great church to come to. Well, it makes me think of a couple of things. One thing you told me is that our purpose here is to reveal God. That's it. To yes. reveal his goodness. To re God is light, so we're to reveal light. God is love, so we're to reveal, reveal love. God is good, so we are to reveal his goodness. Well, we're in partnership, and we're ambassadors. So you take all of that. Mm -hmm. We're ambassadors, and ambassadors don't go with their own plan or their own you know, to another country. They they go with with whatever the head of the country tells them to do. So we're all in one and working together to as one. Him. So to if, if that's not unity, I don't know what is. Well, you know, son, you use the word reveal. 
Now, we have chosen as our theme, actually these, these four weeks that we're doing here, we have chosen as our theme, glory, unity, mm. power. Now, Shelly is going to read to you, and the reason that I'm oh, doing this, it's, it's a 2024. And in January of 2024, people always want to say to me, what do you see? Yeah. Well, What's your mama see? Yeah, yeah that's what I, I get, too. Yeah. Well, we see what God said to us, and he said mm. to us this through tongues and interpretation. Mm. And on our prayer call in January on the 10th, tongues, and then the interpretation comes, and he'll give us a, a word and then he'll give us a scripture reference. We have to look up the scripture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Shelly's going to read to you. We've been reading this every day. It's kind of like our theme for the whole deal. Okay. So she's going to read you what came. It came January 10th, 2024. My glory is revealed in you. Mm -hmm. And this is the year of unity. Glory and the scriptural God. reference was Romans 8, 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. So that verse tells us, God says, it's the year for you to reveal me. Yes. It's the year for you to mm. reveal mm -hmm. the glory. Mm. So that scripture tells us that the trifling things of this world can't be compared with the weight of glory we're to reveal. Now, it also says creation itself is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God, mm -hmm. for us to grow up and manifest God. Now, then he gave us some more down there, and then we'll take off on it. There's now, this is the season, church, and this is the year, the time to be one in me. Hmm. And the scripture reference is John chapter 17, verse 21 that they all may be one, as thou, mm. Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. So that's coming from his prayer. Mm -hmm. And we've all got the prayer. I printed it out for you there. Uh, this is Jesus' prayer. And I like something you said about the last. Well, uh, I, recently the mom uh, shared with me about Brother Hagin's last sermon. And I've, I've been preaching and we've been camping out there and his last sermon was uh, called, uh, What Did You Do With Love? Well, mom's story about she saw some kind of a light or presence or after, an after, anointing on yeah, him. Yeah, after it was over. Oh, he I had thought, preached but, it. No, it's oh, not okay. before. And you went and hugged him and, and, and there was some kind of, it was a goodbye, but you didn't know it was a goodbye. Mm -hmm. But the point of it is, uh, it was his last. So he didn't know it was his last. Y'all didn't know it was his last, but heaven knew it was his last. Right. To a and big, the, his last camp meeting. <clears throat> I think he preached at one smaller church since after that, but this was to the big camp meeting. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit who inspired him to preach. And you think of the thousands of things thousands. he's preached. Thousands of things he's preached. And this is going to be the last. So you know that it's going to be important. You know it's from heaven. Yeah. And it's what did you do with love? Not what did you know, but... So I thought about that with, along with Jesus' last prayer. Heaven knew, God knew, everybody knew. Jesus even knew. Jesus knew. Mm -hmm. So anything like that, man, we need to perk our ears up yes. and get our pens and study and That's meditate right. and chew on what it is. So what was it? It has to be vitally important if it was Jesus' last prayer. That's right. And now... Mm. Uh, just the first verse here. I've got it there for you guys. Read that first verse, Shelley. John chapter 17, verse 1. The now think about this. Let's push this in okay. here. Right. People call the Lord's okay. Prayer, Our Father which art in mm -hmm. heaven. Mm -hmm. That's not his prayer. That's his prayer he taught them for yeah, them to pray. pray. Right. Here is his prayer. Mm -hmm. right. He's really praying. Yeah. He's really communicating with the Father. And this is what he's saying. Yes. Yes. These words spake Jesus... And lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee. Now, here's an interesting thing. Starting back there at Cana and that turning the water mm -hmm. into wine, he mm -hmm. said to his mother, my hour is not yet come. Yes. Several times through the book of John, you find that he says, my hour is not yet come. Mm -hmm. 
Mine hour has not yet come. What does he say here? The hour is the come. The hour has come. <laughs> now, what's going to happen? What's he asking for? Glory. glory. Well, what does he say? Glorify, glorify thy, thy son. son. So what does that mean? That God the Father, the yeah. hour has come, is going to, he's already God. Yeah. yeah. But there's going to come something, a further glorification for this hour. Mm. Mm -hmm. Glorify thy son, that thy son may glorify thee. Yes. Now here's what I see about the church. <laughs> he said it's the year. Yeah. We are going to expect a further glorification. Yes. Reveal this glory. To reveal this glory. To we reveal. have a purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To reveal. And we need to unite. Yep. I yes. know that's coming, but... Yeah, and, and that's think, how we do it. Exactly, Become yeah. one accord and unity together. Right. Not yes. this or that or hang up on this or that. Mm -hmm. And understand the importance of the, glory. Of the hour is come. The hour, the hour is, come. is come. So there must be a divine commodity from the Father. Yes. In other words, Jesus wouldn't ask for something that wasn't available. No. Right. But he's right. asking for something to equip him. Like an equipment manager. Yeah, you need yeah. particular equipment to equip to, him for what he, how to glorify the Father. And I think about what we read in last broadcast. Had this prince of the power of the air, had the demons known, they would not have crucified the Lord, Lord of, of glory. glory. So this prayer, Father, glorify thy son. Yeah. I believe it had everything to do with the path that he was getting ready to I love to that. I, he, yes. he knew he needed to be equipped with that. He had to have yes. something further. Yes. It's not just to fill up the Bible. No. no. Now, Candace, <laughs> yes, you're, a, you're a woman of prayer. Oh, yes. yes. You, you, you're yes, quite Mighty a woman, woman of prayer. prayer. Every time I get really special prayer requests, you're one of the ones I contact. So I think this is a way. You told me that one of the main things you pray about is the body of Christ. Yes. Wow. Yes. Is that true? Glory. Yes, ma'am. It's an assignment. Yeah. So an assignment. I, I think assignment. That, yes. that you could pray, Father, yes. the hour has come. I believe that too. Glorify your body. Yes. That your body may, may glorify, glorify you. Do we do yeah. we ask him to equip us? Yes, this like is what Jesus. this is. Yeah, yes. yeah, that's what that's saying right there. That whole statement, glorify thy son, that thy son or that thy body yes. may glorify thee. I don't know, Santa, yes. I'm getting oh, a witness. Oh, glory I'm, to God. Oh, man. I'm getting a witness. <laughs> yes. That, that's yes. something we should put in our prayers. That's yes. something we'll do at Prayer Mountain. Right. Yes, we'll do it we'll here too. We'll pray that. Because the hour yeah. has come. The now, hour has come. Now, listen, in verse 4, let's go down to verse 4. Why don't you read verse 4 for us, Candace? Mm. Oh, that's the second paragraph. Um, John 17, 11. Yeah, yeah right four. Here. Oh. Right here. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, O oh Father, Glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Before the world was. Before yes. the world was. See, oh, glory. That just we hit studied me. it. We that studied was it. Perfection, because there was yeah. no darkness or nothing, yeah. right? Yeah. I'm just Lord. talking out loud. I may yeah. be wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Correct yeah. me. She's my mom. She does all the time, which I, I'm glad. But <laughs> absolutely. Go ahead. Yeah. He, he's asking for something. Yes. Glorify us with the glory from you. But, but he's reminding them of... Right, because he yeah. had to humble himself and become like the servant of a man. He yes. humbled himself as creator yeah. of the universe to, to become... He laid aside his he glory. He laid aside. He laid aside the highest degree of it. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Mm -hmm. well, so, and you look at that. Glorify me with thine own self. That's, that's the it. presence he's of... He's asking yes. for the very presence, the very essence of God. That's what we moment. can ask for. And, he's, and, and in turn, well, we'll find out later, he's given it to us. Yes. To yes. walk in that. Absolutely. To do Absolutely. that. Ask him glory for that. to God. Now he's going to pray for his followers. In verse we 9, he's going to pray for the disciples because he's leaving them for a while. And uh, then in verse 11, he's, uh, read that. Uh, Chip, you want to read verse 11? Yeah. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. The disciples. Mm -hmm. And I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we were. So what is he asking for? Unity. 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 Now, mm -hmm. unity is connected to glory. Yes, it is. Unity is powerful. Unity, if they'll walk in unity, 
then they can manifest the glory. When any two agree. Yeah. Yeah. So now, Candace, you told me, and I had the same experience coming from a denominational world, that when you found out verse 20, it took you to the floor crying. Read that verse, Candace, please. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word, that they all may be one as thou, Father, art in me and I in thee, that they may also be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one, I in them and thou in me, that they may be perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me and has loved them as thou has loved me. Now, now here he's saying, I'm not just praying Amen. for these disciples, uh-uh. but I'm going to pray for everybody that's going to believe through yeah. those words yes. of them. Thank God. So did you believe through the words of Peter? Did you yes. believe through yes. the words of them? Yes. Yes. Then this is us. This when is I us. found out for that, sure. I'm yeah. telling you, I was 1967, Brother yeah. Hagen pointed that out. Oh. Jesus, I wrote in my Bible, he prayed for me. Yes. And what did he pray? That we might be one. one. So he's talking about glory, mm-hmm. manifesting glory, yes. and he ties it to unity. unity. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's so good. So now, good. we are one body. Mm-hmm. We are. We yeah. just are one body. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shelly, read Romans 12. I want to say something real okay. quick to all yeah, the pastors ahead. out there. Uh, God said to me uh, in, in prayer, I'm getting things in order. And I believe because the hour has come. Yeah, because the hour has come, surely. God is getting things in order. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, if we don't get things in order, God will get things in order. Yeah, yeah, he will soon. And we need to preach this. Yeah. And we need to get it right in yes. our staffs, in our family, in the people, and teach this unity because that's what it's all about, and uh, of, of getting the glory. Yeah. It's the key. You right. really can't so, have it without can't it. Can't have it without it. Jesus preached it. And so as long as we keep in order the way God's order will be fine and, and continue and that's what we need to do. So mm-hmm. I believe that God's getting things in order and this is one of the things that he's doing. Yeah, the main and, and uh, to manifest this, um, I'm going to give you an experience one time that I had. I'd been to Finland. Mm-hmm. Uh, we went into Russia for years, 10 years, and we used the door of Finland. It was the only free border. And we would usually go and preach a couple of weeks in Finland before we went mm-hmm. into Russia. And the Pentecostal churches brought us there, but I have never seen fighting in my life like was in those churches. <laughs> okay. They it was a actually, unity conference. They <laughs> sued each other in court. So no unity, unity. division. Yes. Division. Was, That's the opposite. The biggest two Pentecostal denominations had court cases. Oh, yeah. goodness. So um, this I, I experienced, I could take a lot of I don't of t- think that's what Jesus was praying for. I don't <laughs> think so. So anyway, uh, no. I never saw such disunity in my life. So uh, I went over, we, we went many times, you know, you remember Bareth and all of oh, them, yeah. you know. We went many times to Finland. And so once we went over and they said, oh, we're having unity meetings here in, in Finland. Well, great. So I went to the unity meeting with them. It was a breakfast. They fought at the unity meeting. Oh, yes, they did. (laughs) And I thought, Uh, we can encourage our people to be a part of this. So I came back home to Collinsville Church, right over there in the children's department. And I'm over there one night, and we're singing, Thou art worthy, thou art worthy. Uh And suddenly, I don't know, that church would only hold about 150 people, 100 we're sounding much greater. We're sounding like the choir, the Brooklyn Tabernacle Choir. <laughs> and I stopped. And the Lord said, I'm going to teach you about unity. He said, you're in much more unity than you think you are. Oh. He said, unity is of the spirit. Nice. He said, when the song leader is singing the song I told them to sing, I have congregations all around the globe singing the same song at the same time. He said, you're here in the morning service and you know that it's the evening service in Finland. They're singing the same song. Mm. And he said, then from time to time, I have the angels join with you, heavenly choirs. And he said, you're in more unity than you know, and it drives the devil crazy. Mm. 
And he said, unity is in the spirit. He said, for instance, you teach on end times and Mm -hmm. you know that people differ on that. Yeah. And so one minister can be here and he ministers such and such and this one and they're so at odds with each other that if they're walking down the street and they see the other one coming, one would cross over. He said, it gives me great joy to have them in their prayer closets praying in the spirit in tongues, working on the same project. Yeah. He said, unity is in the spirit. Mm-hmm. So what we need to do to have unity is walk in the spirit. And I know you're going to do a whole month coming up on this program on love. Mm -hmm. So if we walk in love, the love is in us. It's a key to unity. Yes. If we walk in love Mm -hmm. and we let the love that's in us, what did you do with that love? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come out through our souls and out through our bodies. That's the only way we can get in unity. Yes. You really cannot get in unity any other way. You can't get your minds in unity. No. No. You, you, and you, your flesh is unless not fully your redeemed. mind is in the Word of God. Exactly. You right. only can get in unity with the Word of God, and your unity is going to have to come through the Spirit. I mean, you know, husbands yeah. and wives. Right. They love each other. <laughs> but every now and then. Yes. <laughs> so, what do you do about it? You get out your little yellow love card. Yes. Or you get out 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8, and you read it. Mm-hmm. And you call up the love. Now you're doing. You Now you're doing. You call up the call love up. that's in your spirit. Mm. It comes through your mind, yes. will, and emotions. Glory. It even, it even, did you tell that story in detail? Well, you could, after the, <laughs> not, <laughs> you could just wait and hope that it fall on you or wait, but, or you could do something about right. it. Right, yes. And, and that's what it. mom did. You know, going oh, yeah. to the the, cabinet. cabinets, the cabinets and reading the cards the card. <laughs> and yeah, stirring that. it up. She's doing it. Mm-hmm. She's doing it. Mm-hmm. So what did Brother Hagen say his last sermon? What did you do with it? And so. Yeah, you have to do something. You have it. It's yours. Yeah. You got born again. It's there. I don't know how much time we've got left, Loy. You need to know. Two minutes. I'll tell a fast story. Okay. I heard Brother Hagin teaching on love. I thought I was doing pretty well, and he read all the way down through it. And he said, love is not touchy or fretful or resentful. That's in 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. I I was a very touchy person. Mm. Fretful, even. Not so much resentful, but I was touchy. I mean, I know to suffer wrongs. Your dad would forget my birthday. I'd cry about it for a week before and after. I knew he was going to forget it. He forgot it every year. <laughs> and, uh, and then he would always say, it's December 6th. He'd always say, I thought it was December 8th. I'd cry. I could go into this long story and tell you. Then I heard Brother Hagen, and I thought, whoops. Here I'm thinking, Ken is the culprit. It's me. I'm mm-hmm. the one that's noticing suffered wrongs. Yeah. So Brother Hagen said, if you're having a trouble with a part of that love walk, then put it on these little three by five cards and put it around in the places of attack. I had one in the office. I had one, I had them all over the kitchen cabinets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we spent a lot of time in our big old country kitchen. Yeah. It seemed like we lived in that kitchen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, like Kent, I remember one night he came in and he said, what I got for supper? Soup. Oh, good. Comes over, takes a bite. <laughs> I wish you'd call my mom and see what she puts in her soup. (laughs) (laughs) But Uh no. I go over. One minute. I open the cabinet. Love is not touchy or fretful or resentful. So I got over that. Da-da-da-da. It was nice. (laughs) Then there was another attack, the chili attack. Cold night. He comes in. I have to go and teach at a Bible school. But I made cornbread. Hot cornbread. Mm. Chili. Kent comes in. And uh, he says, where are the crackers? Well, honey, I made you, I got cornbread. I don't know, I just feel like crackers, he said. Normally I would say, you got a pickup out there and you got legs that aren't broken. Go <laughs> get you some it. crackers. But I didn't. Shh, open it up. Love is not touchy or fretful or resentful. And I can tell you that I felt love. I felt it. I felt it come up out of my spirit like a hot lava. I felt it go through my mind. I felt it go through my body, my hands. I stretch them out to him. 
I'll go get you some crackers. Yeah. It was like nothing would satisfy me but to get that man crackers. Yeah. And he said, he doesn't know anything's happening. He said, oh, by the way, uh, we're out of coffee. Out the door I go. I get to the grocery store. Okay, market. And there's butcher paper advertised loss leaders. Two items on giveaway prices. Crackers and coffee. Glory. It was a sign from God. But yeah. my point is, it's there. Yes. Oh, yes. And if yes. you will feed it, you will. I know you're going to talk about love for, that's a, a, for a whole month. It's yeah. the key to everything. Feeding. It's a key to unity. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. Dear Partners, every act of generosity you extend significantly impacts our mission. Your support helps to maintain our headquarters, Prayer Mountain in the Ozarks, and ensures we can provide weekly meals and essential resources to those in need. We are beyond thankful for every prayer, every donation, and every moment you've dedicated to us. For those not currently enrolled in our general club, consider joining this circle of compassion with a monthly contribution. Visit billybrim.org. Click the giving tab in the menu, select general club and set your amount or by texting your gift to BBM space amount to 28950 and follow the prompts. Together, we will continue praying in the plans of God Shalom. We have two book offers this month. One of them is my book, The Blood and the Glory. But Chip, you have a brand new book just coming off, and it's called Unity with the Trinity. What does yeah. that mean? Well, it's just uh, God said to me one time, have you ever meditated on the fact that you are uh, formed in the image of, of the Trinity in one, you know, three in one? And man, when I started meditating on it, it changed my whole perspective of everything about how they were in unity and how Jesus prayed for unity and, 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 and how we are part of that and we were creating that image. It's all about unity, really. So that's how it came. Unity and with the Trinity, God the them. Father, God the Son, God the, the Holy Spirit. That's when the power happens. Yes. Then you can have the power. Yeah. Yes. But you have to have, in other words, unity with this. Yeah. Yes. Right here in unity with this book. Mm -hmm. And so um, they're showing you there how you can get the books and of course, my book is the blood and the glory. And mm -hmm. there you're going to have a manifest, you're going to have a revelation uh, that God gave to me about the glory of God and the, the blood. This has become, this is still a bestseller. No, it's yeah. a must, many must years, have it's if you don't have it. Yes. Bless yes. the Lord. So we'll be back with you next week. Shalom. Billy Brim now has a YouTube channel. Search under the channel name, Official Dr. Billy Brim. Subscribe today and get the latest updates, uploads, and lives to the channel. Feed your faith and walk in the light of the Word. Thank you for joining us today. For more information, go to billybrim.org.